Once upon a time, diesel was dirty. Then it was clean and we were told to ditch petrol. Then two years ago, there was the VW emissions scandal. And now we're being told to ditch everything. There's going to be an absolute revolution on our roads. In the next 10 to 20 years, the vast majority of vehicles will be electric. There'll still be queues, though. The UK is not leading the way on this, but campaigners and judges have forced the government to publish a clean air strategy. We have to get rid of petrol and diesel cars off our roads if we're going to make sure not only that we deal with the health problems that air pollution causes, but also that we meet our climate change targets. Local councils will be given £255 million to deal with pollution from diesel vehicles. It could mean restrictions on some major roads or retrofitting older buses with filters. All new petrol and diesel cars and vans will be banned from 2040. But there'll be no nationwide scrappage scheme where you get some money back because the government says everyone will change their vehicle sooner or later. There's still a lot of range anxiety with electric, but those in the know say fear of being stranded is old hat. I can remember driving some of the first electric vehicles and I can remember running out of, of power in about 100 miles or so, um, which wasn't great. But the latest cars are really good. They will go for 200, 250 miles between charges. Um, and a lot of them, you can recharge the batteries to 80% of capacity within an hour. So you know, they really are a lot more reliable. Electric cars are still a niche market, but the early adopters are extremely keen. It takes them getting used to. You know, I have to plan my day differently. If I'm picking up at the airport, I have to go down like an hour earlier. It's just getting used to it, you know, but they're fantastic cars to drive. The bit I really like about electric vehicles is just the, um, the fact that they're really quiet. Um, you don't end up with a smell of kind of fuel on your hands when you, uh, you top them up and you start every day with a fuel tank. Today's government announcement is being condemned as too little, too late. We want them to exclude the most polluting vehicles from the most polluted parts of our towns and cities and we want them to help diesel drivers to transition to cleaner technologies so that they're not disadvantaged by not being able to drive into town anymore. Our grimy air pollution monitoring stations are a grim reminder of the UK's poor record and environmentalists say we still have a very long way to go.